Scrubs up. It's Ready Steady Feast. Today's guest is a Victorian gentleman with the most unusual diet in history. He's eaten stewed blue bottles, squirrel pie, mouse on toast. He's even eaten roast giraffe. What on earth is he going to bring along today? Please welcome Dr. William Buckland. Thank you. Yes. Good day to you, madam. And may I say it's a deep honor for me to be on your esteemed entertainment program. I only hope I live up to your splendiferous introduction. Is that Victorian for hello? Yes. Great. Hello back. What ingredients have you brought for us to cook? Well, I didn't want to shock anyone, so I brought some everyday items that I would eat on an average evening. Here is my first item. <clears throat> A grey sock. <laughs> no, an elephant's trunk. Delicious roasted. Uh, for my second item, I've brought along a sauce. I'm sure your audience already have a bottle of this in their larders. Oh, it smells a bit nutty. Yes, it's bat's urine. <laughs> my third item, I've got a rare French delicacy. Truffles. <laughs> More rare. What's rarer than truffles? <laughs> the heart of King Louis the Fourteenth. Yummy. <laughs> That can't really be. Oh, it is. It's the mummified heart of the former king of France, stolen from his tomb and brought by me. A delicacy. Disgusting. <laughs> Dread to think what's next. Still, what could be worse than a hundred-year-old human heart? For my final item, I've brought along a pound of sprouts. Sprouts? That is disgusting. Mmm. Grubs up. No sprouts here, sunshine. Put them back in your little bag. I've got some panther in I don't want your panther. William Buckland really did eat all those things, as well as alligator, roast ostrich and a mole. Just imagine him doing a bush tucker trial, eh? Mmm, this is delicious. Got any more giant maggots? The second Baron Rothschild was another eccentric Victorian. Did he have A, a carriage drawn by four zebras, B, 